All right, we're back with another Zazenia guide. This time I'm gonna head out to Blyatheroi, I think it is, with Twinkies. It's the hardest boss in the game. I'll go check it out. It is a free account area, I believe, but you do need to do a quest to get the keys to get in. Or if just anybody in your group has the keys, that's all you need. Um, but we'll head to Golshan Village into the Draco area. If you're wanting the keys to get in here, the main thing you need to complete the quest is 300 achievement points. So if you don't have those achievement points, work on that. Uh, I won't go into detail on the quest to get the keys on this video. It's very easy once you have those achievement points and somebody can probably tell you in game. I'm gonna run through a decent lion spawn here if you're a free account lower level. Um, the other lion spawn is in Bin Karasi, which is a premium account area. So right in here. There is also a desert flower spawn right over here. So if you're gathering and need desert flowers, you're right here, I'm running through them. You can see on the hills to the south here is the Draco, Dracolich spawns. To the north is the Horned Dragon spawn, so there's lots of stuff out here. No, it used to be called the Humwich Hills area, I believe, but with all the map changes out here, I'm not sure what people call it now. Uh, giants here. If you're wondering how Twinkies and I have these outfits, um, they both came from a Halloween event last year. And we have not changed our outfit since that time, because as soon as you change, you lose it forever. So we've had it on for almost a year now. Uh, he just went up north. There's a switch up there that opens up this hole. You can see on my mini map just a short ways up there. Uh, the part to remember here is uh, as you go through this tunnel, there's um, pillars blocking your way. You have to remember to put these candles on the wall on and off. Uh, and that'll open up the pillars so it only lasts a few minutes so you have to make it through this part fast enough or they'll shut again so just those two
the path there is a little bit long. Sorry for that, but I'll show you the whole way so you know exactly what it is. Uh, there's not much else in here. There's no other hunting spawn, so I wouldn't recommend coming in here unless you're doing the boss, really. Um, while you're killing the boss, there are a few ghost dragons and Dracolich kind of in the area where you wait for the boss to respawn. So there is stuff to kill while you're waiting. You don't just have to stand and wait for the respawn if you don't want. Okay, now we're just about there. A few rays on our way, and then we'll be at the boss. Um, he summons four demon lords. Uh, obviously, you want to kill those first and kill them as fast as possible, because it's pretty tough to, for a tank to take on two demon lords and the boss. Even for Twinkies at like 292... <laughs> Um, two demon lords and the boss is no fun, so we drop them as fast as we can. <clears throat> So usually there's a couple spots up in here where the tank can pull the boss so that he's at an angle so he doesn't have to take the frontal beam. That's usually where I try to take him. I don't think Twinkies is quite in the right spot here, but we'll make it work. You can see there's lots of imps around draining your mana all the time, which is a bit annoying. Um, so a couple of things, uh, if you don't already know. If you ever stack monsters, so if you have the boss and his summons are stacking on top of him, only magic attacks will hit everything. Otherwise, like your melee attacks and a ranger's bow shots will only hit one creature. So as a mage or an arranger, when you're trying to drop the summons, like the demon lord right now is sitting on top of the boss, Twinkies can't hit that demon lord, I believe only I can. So you need to cast all your magic spells full combos because mage damage will damage both creatures. So my spells are hitting the boss and the demon lord, killing them both at the same time. 
However, melee and bow shots will only hit the boss. So I think we got all the summons down. Now it's just a matter of comboing non-stop and slowly killing the boss. I think it takes us Ooh, just over five minutes. I'm not sure if I'll finish it in the video. Might have to fast forward the video a little bit at the end here, so I'll stop talking. Make sure we get the kill in by my 15 minute limit. Here's the end of the boss. Um, took me and Twinkies uh, about six minutes, I think, something like that. So takes a little while with just two people, but you can do it. Uh, don't try this until you're pretty high level. But he does drop the best wand and bow in game, I think, or crossbow. Not sure if any other loot is confirmed yet or not. Um, the wand I have on and then the hellish crossbow. Anyways, good luck and we'll see you next time.